so welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Here on my channel, A Sip of My Wine, we talk about all things wine and wine related. If you are returning, welcome back. It's good to see you guys again. And I hope you guys will enjoy today's video. Today I will be showing you guys part two of how I built my mobile bar. So if you guys remember last week, I focused mainly on the interior. So that was the flooring, that was the walls, that was, you know, decoration, decorating the inside, painting the inside, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and today we'll be focusing on the exterior of the trailer. We're going to focus on sanding the trailer down and getting all that paint and rust off of her. We're going to focus on the welding that Scott did changing the tires and then that crazy weird painting process and then i will show you how she just looks after all of this i did get some professional photos done and i can't wait to share them with you all so make sure you stick around to the end of the video uh if you guys have any questions any comments please feel free to leave them in the d in the comments below um i will be happy to respond i love engaging with you guys i know it's only like a hundred of us I'm sure the channel is going to grow, but I love engaging with you guys. So if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. If you have, you know, something a little more personal you want to ask, something a little more detailed, feel free to shoot me an email. I will leave that information below as well. And without further ado, here is the video. Yay, I'm finally done. Well, not really. I still have stuff that I want to do. Enjoy. So fun fact, there are like a million ways to remove paint from a vehicle. And I had no clue what way I wanted to go. <laughs> so I tried a couple different methods. The first method I tried was I tried to do a chemical removal. Uh, but then I didn't go through with it because I was kind of concerned about the environmental effects. And I'm no tree hugger by any means, but you know, it was just something that I didn't want to, a path I didn't want to go down. I didn't want to breathe in those toxins. Then I tried an orbital sander, but I didn't think that the orbital sander was going to get as much paint and rust off that I wanted. You know, I wanted to get this thing right down to bare metal. And I think the orbital sander was only good for like, you know, a finished paint job. And I really wanted to get rid of all that rust and all that paint. So finally, as you guys can see here, I settled on an angle grinder. So an angle grinder is kind of like a sander, but it's a lot more, um, you know just a lot more aggressive than an orbital sander I use a metal grinding wheel um, and I as you can see it sliced all that like paint and rust off like butter so as you can see here I'm going I'm using this angle grinder and I'm getting all that paint and all that rust off and it's coming off like butter and it's exactly what I wanted and I'm so glad I did some YouTube research and figured out that the angle grinder was my best bet quick note an angle grinder was not 100% necessary and it wasn't even necessary to really get this, you know, to really get this paint down to bare metal or get the trailer down to bare metal. Um, but I wanted to because I wanted to start with a fresh, clean slate so that way when I went in to prime and paint, it would just be bare metal and a fresh, clean slate. So I went with the angle grinder and you guys can see it's coming off and I'm super happy that I decided to go with it. So the next order of business was to actually prime the trailer. And to prime the trailer, I used Rust-Oleum's Rusty Metal Primer. 
Um, and I wanted to make sure I got this done as quick as possible because as you can see the trailer is located outside in the elements. And had I waited even a week to get that trailer prime, the trailer would have just rusted back up again. Especially since it's bare metal. So this is the end result of the priming. Um, I went ahead and did the sides. I did both sides. I also did the back, um, the doors. Um, I didn't do like the back part, like near the actual curved part of the trailer, because I was gonna get some work done. Scott was gonna come in and actually cut that part out and replace it. So I just finished the sides and um, the back doors and of course the roof. but certainly not least was the painting. So I need you guys to understand, I went through like three different colors. So the first color that I'm putting on now is actually a custom color. I chose two different paints from Home Depot. It was Balcony Sunset and Indian River or something like that. I combined them together and my goal was to get kind of a wood color. So that was kind of the goal. I wanted this to look like a wine barrel, almost in a way. But it didn't quite work out because it came out a lot more peachy looking than anything. So this is my first attempt and I'll let you guys see how I went ahead and did this. Um, this is just a handheld uh, HLDVP painter. It's the same painter that you would use to paint a room, like a room in your house. And this is the best kind of most cost effective way for me to get this paint done. It only cost me about $90 and the paint was about $40 a gallon. I only needed like half a gallon, so that was pretty good. So the second color, so as you can see the first color it just looks like a big peach, it didn't come out like woody, 
like I want it. So what I did is I went and got a more neutral color to kind of cover it and hopefully get more of that like wood turn tone. But it came out looking like, have you guys ever seen, you guys remember when we were young when we were playing with the crayons? You guys remember that flesh color? That weird like white flesh color, like cream flesh color? That's what this came looking like. Yeah, so that second color didn't work either, but you guys can see the process here of me repainting it with the second color. And I will let you guys just see how it came out. I wasn't, I wasn't thrilled with it. So you would think, like, as I'm painting it, if I see I didn't like the color that I would stop. But no, I just painted the whole thing because I was convinced it was going to work. And it didn't. So this is how it came looking. Yeah, it's definitely the flesh color for, like, like the crayon flesh color. I'm not with it at all. And I did actually, because I was in such a rush for time, I did actually not, I was not able to get video of me painting the final color. But you guys will see in the next photo that the final color that I chose was a kind of an off-white color called Spanish Lace, which actually worked out pretty well. I'm kind of glad with how it ended, and I used some of that Balcony Sunset from the first color to kind of trim out the first, like, to kind of trim out the window frame. So, you know, it actually kind of worked out. I'm actually kind of pleased with how it came out, um, despite the fact that I went through three different colors and a thousand different sanding methods. But, like I told you guys, this was definitely a trial and error project. It took me a year and a half to complete, and it doesn't look like it, but it took me so much to kind of get this thing done. You guys see how much back and forth I went through, mainly because of my own indecisiveness and just lack of knowledge. But, like I said, I'm pleased with how it came out. I'm super proud of myself and that I'm done. If you guys are on Instagram, make sure you follow us at Palette Mobile Wine Bar to kind of keep up with us and what we're doing. Also, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe. Please support us. We are trying to get this thing like head under headway. And then, of course, thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day.